administrative stuff, so it's not like you need to film it. Um, wow, how's it going? All right, awesome. Um, I, I, I'm supposed to make a few announcements, and I'm going to give stuff away. But uh, announcements uh, first. Park, there are parking discount things at the front at the registration desk. Anyone drive in today? Handful of people. I heard the gates were just up and frozen open. So um, I'm not sure that your parking discount is needed at this point because I think it's just free parking at the hotel. Uh, tell your friends. If you feel like going home and get your car, you can bring it back and park free. The um, we have a cell phone still. I think it's a blue Samsung, but we know whose it is because their wife called it uh, last night late. <laughs> Um, so if you're missing the cell phone, go to the front desk or go to the registration desk and pick it up. And it seemed like there was something else. Oh, if you registered a room at the hotel and you registered it outside the Truecon room block, please tell the front desk that you're with us so that we get credit for it. Um, it helps us at the end of the day when we're living up the hill. So, uh, the real quick. Talk. Ja, ja, gut, Cloud ist halt. Uh, das ist auch okay. Also, ich, mein, ich bin entspannt. Also. I can grab a mic too. Yeah. Hello! <lacht> There, I can be loud. Um, I'm going to ask questions. This year we printed questions on little pieces of paper to prevent me from having to come up with questions on the fly, which were usually dumb. And I just ended up throwing crap into the audience. So, uh, what does the J in Homer J. Simpson stand for? J. J. Yay, J. So, um, uh, you get your choice of professional penetration testing or. God bless it, a bottom of my firewall t-shirt with um, a Shmoo mouse pad. Uh, of course you're going for the shirt. Uh, if I ever see you wearing it, sir, I'll rip it off your body. <laughs> hate that thing. Um, next question. Um, doo -doo -doo. What chairman of Apple coined the term PDA? This is according to Wikipedia, so this could be, could be totally wrong. Is this Cthulhu here? Um, it's a really funny joke, too, guys. It's no one? Name us the CEO of Apple other than Jobs. Scully. Scully, that's who it was. Who said that? All right, sir, you won yourself professional penetration testing. You can become a professional penetration tester in 496 pages. That's all it takes. Anyway, thanks very much. Okay, so uh, NO and team are back again. This is your third year at ShmooCon, I think? Third year at ShmooCon. You guys do fantastic networking work. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are able to make it back and brave the weather and the elements and brought a whole bunch of gear. So um, it promises to be an interesting talk. Are we live on, on the internet? Internet's looking good? Yeah. Nods, heads nods. Okay, good, there we are. All right, we, got a, we got a response. Anyway, I'll let you guys take it away. Thanks very much. Thanks, Bruce. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Enno. Some of you might know us uh, from the recent years. We have been presenting um, both last editions uh, on, say, related stuff. That means uh, networking stuff. This is Oliver. Uh, some of you might uh, remember uh, Daniel looking like a German Viking, uh, so he's easily identifiable. Um, today we are going to present, and we, we change the, uh, the title of the talk compared to the one that's in the, uh, uh, say, official agenda. In the official agenda, that one sounds not too appealing, admit that, uh, that is analysis of a broken protocol. Uh, called WLCCP, that will be one half of the talk. The other half will be more, uh, say, modern stuff, as uh, WLCCP is a bit outdated. And so we changed the title to some notes on um, Cisco Enterprise uh, WLAN solutions, uh, which much more reflects what is in the talk. Um, that's uh, a pity for those who uh, are not here, um, given the, say, not appealing title of the, of the initial talk, but I mean, filing the, um, <clears throat> the submission that happened three months ago, and at the time, we had a vague idea, there is uh, something around, but we had not yet had the time to figure it out, um, which has changed significantly in the, in the meantime. Uh, so who are we? we all, of, uh, all three of us work for a German uh, security consultancy called ELNW that I founded back in 2001. And um, we have a blog, we have a conference called Trupa, so we are quite active, uh, say, in not only researching security and performing, uh, say, assessments at customer sites, but uh, as well in the public or publishing uh, uh, transport knowledge space of uh, security. The agenda is a pretty simple one. There's some introduction. Uh, after that, we... Uh, I have to give you an overview of the technologies we are covering and potential attack paths. 
then there are several generations of uh, the Cisco Enterprise WLAN stuff and uh, those generations usually are given marketing acronyms and uh, th those are you can see here as one or uh, that very easily pronounceable CUWN uh, uh, and obviously there are some conclusions in the end. The background is um, the NW in the company name stands for networking. So most of us or the company as a whole has some history in networking. Uh, so we, from time to time, it's not, not our main work. Our main work is uh, performing assessments and providing, uh, say, uh, consulting services, but mainly pro um, performing assessments. But besides this, from time to time, we do traditional implementation work uh, of network gear, and uh, we touch uh, Cisco stuff um, occasionally there, and we sometimes had a feeling, oh, there is, uh, that doesn't look good security-wise. There is something hidden. Uh, we, we had the impression, well, this looks strange. Uh, this box behaves strange. Uh, so we should have uh, take a closer look one day. And as there was practically no, say, independent security assessment of the stuff available, we simply decided build a lab and uh, uh, spend some cycles on uh, looking at the stuff and uh, the, uh, the current talk is, say, the outcome of some of those cycles. Uh, additionally, it turned out that one of our very large customers was interested in getting an independent assessment, so uh, thankfully uh, some part of this was paid, which is the, obviously the ideal solution, or the ideal way of um, performing stuff like this, getting money for it, uh, at least as long as you're uh, still have the intellectual property, which is not the case, say, if you are government sponsored. Okay, back to the talk itself. Um, what we want to do here is uh, obviously entertain you, uh, provide some uh, insight into the solutions and their security aspects, and uh, to some degree have a discussion on um, what can go wrong when uh, using or designing protocols and uh, which are things that should uh, have been learned in the last 10 or 20 years but uh, still aren't, uh, say, available in, in every protocol designer's head. The landscape we look at roughly looks like this. Um, usually there is, obviously, I mean, uh, we are talking about wireless, so there is access points. Not sure if you can see this, but uh, you can, uh, should be able to identify the access points. There's mobile nodes, so stations or whatever kind of wireless equipment comes around that takes part. Uh, there is uh, boxes providing authentication services, and uh, the whole stuff is somehow administered by means of web interfaces or command line interfaces. This stuff to a high degree is proprietary stuff. There is lots of, say, protocols, elements in it that are not that standardized, uh, that are not available as RFCs. Um, as for the security research, this means, um, obviously, uh, uh, it makes it uh, maybe a bit more tedious to find, to figure out things, but that's, uh, that can be the fun part as well, say, looking at the packet and uh, trying to understand the format of the packet. Uh, but the other thing is there's legal boundaries. Uh, it's not like um, uh, you can easily, uh, say, dissect code or something. Uh, some, yeah, there might be a EULA prohibiting this, and we uh, obviously, uh, of course, we follow those, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, okay, there's three major, what we call, flavors or generations of these enterprise um, WLAN solutions in the Cisco space. The first generation is the one that is, was called Structured Wireless Aware Networks uh, in shorts one. Then back in 2005, Cisco announced the acquisition of airspace. Uh, so they entered the space um, with managed APs. Uh, and the main protocol at that time was LWAPP. Uh, I mean, that's five years ago, but still, remnants um, from that airspace acquisition can be found, so kind of that heritage, and this heritage might be inducing uh, interesting things, uh, so to say. And the newest generation, uh, since many years, they call all this, 
in marketing speech they call it the Cisco Unified Wireless Network. And um, recently uh, they switched over to a protocol that is uh, standardized in an RFC, or in several RFCs actually, but um, uh, Cisco main, mainly authored some of them. Uh, so the ac acronym is uh, C uh, CUWN. And we are going uh, to cover the first and the uh, last generation. Talking about, how it, uh, about attack paths, there's lots of potential attacks and stuff. We classify them into three main categories. Obviously, that's attacks against um, traffic in transit. Like this is what you think of when talking about wireless security. Uh, get packets, try to uh, uh, get them from the air, uh, try to understand, dissect, decrypt, whatever, uh, so eavesdrop on their content. Uh, then there might be attacks um, against cryptographic material. Obviously, they can be related um, to the attacks against traffic in transit, but they might be used for other purposes as well, like injection of rogue devices, which have to identify or authenticate in the overall picture, and this might be based on cryptographic um, uh, procedures. Uh, so um, getting out uh, the crypto stuff or the keys, the key material, might serve um, different purposes than just, uh, say, eavesdropping on traffic. And third, is, uh, that is uh, what we call attacks against components, which might be physical removal uh, or replacement. And uh, attacks against management interfaces. Uh, some of those boxes, if you uh, recall the, uh, say, uh, picture with the overall diagram, um, some of those have web interfaces. Uh, SNMP might play the role. And uh, there might be attacks against these kinds of uh, mechanisms. Uh, roughly speaking, this is the first generation uh, called SWAN. And uh, what we have there is um, uh, so-called uh, WDS domains. Um, there is, uh, in those domains, there are access points. Um, those, all those devices are connected somehow in the back by wired interfaces. There is uh, authentication services, which in the Cisco world are provided by uh, um, ACS. And uh, in the bottom part, uh, no, in the, in the upper part of the diagram, you can see something called uh, WLSE. That is a, a proprietary um, device. In fact, it is, uh, th this one is in WLSE. Uh, which performs management functions. So we have management, we have authentication, we have access points that somehow com communicate uh, uh, across wired links, and obviously in the end of the day, all this serves for uh, wireless uh, nodes, uh, so um, uh, stations, or clients. As for the, say, architecture, in this one generation, there was no, auto, um, uh, no managed access points in the sense they were dumb and were configured uh, centrally, uh, but they were still autonomous, but could be configured uh, by means of a central entity. I think like uh, Cisco works configuring uh, devices, and this is uh, much or less um, the same what happened in, the, in this one world. Uh, there were two possible management um, say devices, the WLSE, the one we have here, or there was a, a module for the, for the CUT 65K. In the overall picture, Cisco introduced a term called wireless domain services, which can be thought of, uh, say, the whole of uh, the communication services and services provided uh, by the architecture. And uh, the communication between entities, mainly between access points, were uh, implemented with the help of a proprietary protocol called WLCCP. Uh, this is where I switch over to Oli, who did the main research work in, uh, as for WLCCP. Okay, you, so you can hear me? Um, hello again. Um, WLCCP is the protocol supporting all this uh, wireless domain service structure. The structure is uh, always involves this, uh, that, that as uh, somehow a controller, which does some, um, say, the management, the centralized management stuff, which is uh, um, also responsible for some kind of uh, authentication functions and stuff like that. 
And um, I mean, the protocol is, 